Let me share with you what to do at the end of the day when you have your palate, you've done a lot of mixing. A lot of people switch up their um, palates and s clean them off and throw everything away, which, you know, is good to do. Sometimes you clean it on the side and you leave it uh, in the fridge or in the freezer to help to preserve the colors. What I like to often do is take my, uh, take my most wildest, uh, non-obvious combinations of the day, put them back on the palette. Here we go. We got this salmon pink. We got this greenish gray. We got this pinkish purple going on. I like to pull them out here and see what kind of interesting combinations I can come up with because it's from these mixtures that I can make these great color swaths on uh, different pieces of, of linen around my studio that I end up bringing on to later. Uh, I can show you how to make those color swaths and how to apply them to your paintings live uh, on my Patreon if you check it out in the link. Here we go. This, this salmon pink and this olive green make a really nice kind of muted, muted uh, pink. Let's see what happens with the purple and that green. They can kind of cancel each other out. We just found that that purple is really strong, right? Okay, we've got to make a little bit more of that green come home. Let's do it. Let's really get into that that purple coming down and, and matching that green up. Wow, that purple's got some strength to it. Here we go. Purplish green. All right, that's all right. That's interesting enough. Now, often, let's say, you see this guy, he didn't really surprise me too much. This guy was fascinating. This guy, not so much. It's interesting, but not dynamic. What happens if I just go out of the limb and throw some red lake in there? Some, I'm sorry, some scarlet lake. What happens with that scarlet lake? Ah, look at that, huh? Now, instead of just scrapping my palette at the end of the day, throwing the pile away in the trash or freezing it, I've got myself set up with some real dynamic red and a salmon pink and a grayish salmon pink. What does this do? Right here, this is a beautiful color for rocks that are on the side of a mountain right there. You see that? Those guys, those rocks would be really interesting and just hanging on the side of the mountain. Boom. And then from there, you can get into some shadows of those rocks. Watch this quickly. I get the shadows of the rocks really fast. Here we are. Now, there we go. Adding that ultramarine blue, we got some nice cool shadows of the rocks. All right, so look with this. This is just a mixture of scraps off the palette. I got the basis of a nice rock formation on the side of a hillside right here. Okay, there you go. I got its shadows over here, subtle shadows. All right, you can even darken those shadows if you want, a little ultramarine blue and brown. Here we go, I'm talking the shadows a little. Wonderful, you see that? Wonderful, look at that. Turning the form even a little bit. Boom, there we go, there's the shadow. And I got the highlight of the rock happening over here where the sun's really hitting it. All right, and if I want the warm sun hitting it, boom, right there. Look what that small amount of mixing and look what a beautiful combination just happened here. You got that? So try that experiment at the end of the day with your palette. It'll be awfully useful for you.